I'm your host, Richard Prosser, along with Jordan Rosenthal. We're going to wrap up this year with the Villanova Wildcats. Villanova went 30-8 and eight last year, 16-4 and four in Big East play, and they won the Big East championship, and they made it all the way to the Final Four. And looking at key losses, we're going to start here with one of the greatest of all time, Jay Wright. He was retiring, winning two national championships, seven regular season titles. Wright put himself in rarefied air in college basketball. Another player that... And the first player we're looking at here is Colin Gillespie, back-to-back Big East Player of the Year. Gillespie was one of the best floor generals in college basketball during his time at Villanova. He had 15 points and three assists last year, but was a player that you had to game plan for and was simply so hard to stop. He currently plays on a two-way deal with the Denver Nuggets. Another huge loss was Jermaine Samuels, a three-year starter for the Wildcats, averaged 11 points and 16 rebounds per game last year. The experience in the front line will definitely be missed. And looking at the key additions, we're going to start with Cam Whitmore. The number 14 recruit in the nation is looking to be a breakout player this year for the Wildcats. The strong, athletic, skilled player, there's simply nothing he can't do on the basketball court. He's a scary player to watch as he finishes atop the Big East preseason freshman of the year list. Another player to look at is Mark Armstrong, another top six recruit for the Wildcats. He's a 6'2 guard who will be able to run the NOAA offense relatively well for them losing one of the best floor generals last year in Gillespie. Looking at the returning roster, Villanova returns about two-thirds of their core from last year, but there's a big question mark on Justin Moore. Moore easily has the potential to be the Wildcats' star player this season, but his debut will be heavily delayed after he tore his Achilles in the Elite Eight last year. It'll be interesting to see if he can return to form this year or for Villanova at all. In the meantime, the scoring will be picked up by a trio of returners, Caleb Daniels, Brandon Slater, and their center, Eric Dixon. All three will be scoring over 10 points per game and playing likely 30 plus minutes a game. Looking at how UConn matches up, don't let this team's early season struggles fool you. They are scary. I feel bad for whatever poor mid-tournament seed that's going to have to get a misseeded Villanova team, an 8-9 matchup if they continue on their way, because this team is going to pick it up. Scoring, discipline, athleticism, this team is once again going to be a well-oiled machine. Even in UConn's best year in the Hurley era, they will still have trouble with this squad. Look for close physical games between these two, similar to last year. Staying out of foul trouble and keeping calm will be key. Looking at you, Dan Hurley. If UConn shooters aren't on for these games, they'll have a tough time taking Villanova down.